The three candidates who are contesting the Cayo Northeast constituency are the People's United Parties, Orlando Habet, who is the incumbent seeking another term as air representative, the United Democratic Party's John August, who lost to Habet in 2015, but hopes to pull off a win in 2020, and the Belize People's Front, Nancy Marin, who is also the leader of this third party. My logo is that everybody wins with Lando Habit. Um, the people know me, they have been there for the past five years as a member of government in opposition. But one thing that they have also seen is that I have always been there for them, uh, lobbying for them at the House of Representatives. Whether we get what we lobby for or not, they, I am there to claim and to uh, ask for the help that we need in our constituency. I can do a lot more once I'm in government, and the people know that, so I believe that they're giving me that opportunity. People are looking for hope, for a representative that can create opportunities for them. As you all know, with COVID-19, um, our economy, you know, we, we are struggling at the moment. Um, so that's something they are looking for in their, in their new representative, soon to be new representative, that he will bring hope and he will bring ideas so we can improve on the present economic situation. And that's what I bring to the table, to work along with the people of the Canada this division to find solutions to our problems. No? The vibes that we're getting on the, on the street is that people are just really fed up. Um, I mean, we have over 62,000 people unemployed. In my area, families are really suffering and they're really just tired of the same. We bounce from red to blue, red to blue all the time. Um, and I believe that people want to see a change. Of course, you have the handful of political fanatics, but generally I think the working class people are the people that really want to make the change. We've seen a lot of young people saying, I will vote for anything that is not um, red or blue. For the past five years, Habet served as a representative of the people of Cayo Northeast. He says that constituents are not happy about the lack of jobs and inadequate health infrastructure in the division. And so his plan is to deliver on those needs if elected under the PUP. The, the unavailability of jobs and certainly things like a, a lack of uh, proper education systems where people can go in and learn and the cost of the education. And certainly one that uh, really touches a lot of our lives in, in Cayo is that of the health system, which is really, really despicable. So we believe that um, the people will come out and vote on those issues, but also they will be voting on some of the promises that we are able to make because in our manifesto we have made uh, promises that are achievable. And this second time around, August says he's putting in the work and hopes to be elected. The UDP standard bearer believes that his one-on-one -on -one visits with his constituents will help him to address their needs. He has also enlisted the help of former air representative of Cayo Northeast, Elvin Penner. But will Penner's support help him to deliver the Cayo Northeast seat for the UDP? Employment, um, land distribution, um, health, health um, improvement in the healthcare facilities. Those are some of the, the more pressing needs where, as we go about. And especially, and also, I prefer to forget, also the, the crime situation. No? We have to come up with some kind of um, plan how we can deal with this. You know? It does affect us even here in the Cayo Northeast division also. Farmer uh, area rep, I believe, for Kaya Northeast. Mr. Penner here, is he one of your supporters? Yes, well, you know, Mr. Penner is a UDP. He was once a representative for the Kaya Northeast Division. He, he came out here today for my nomination just to show his support also. No? Do you think that's going to perhaps give you an edge or, or provide the support that you need to secure that? Well, um, you know, you, can, you, need, you need all the support to win an election like this. No? So everybody that wants to come on board and to support me, um, and have um, good ideas of what we can do to improve the Cayo Northeast area. Uh, we need all the support. We need all the support from everyone, you know. Um, regardless, um, we, have to, we have to be all inclusive. According to Marin, one of the issues she has heard in the division is the lack of jobs. She says that if elected, she intends to tackle unemployment as well as other economic issues. The most important thing in Cayo Northeast and really around the country is jobs. We need to create jobs. We need to create wealth. Again, the boost in our economy. Um, the Belize People's Front um, has been speaking to investors around the region that are very interested in Belize. And we think that is the way to go. The country cannot take any more loans. We cannot indebt ourselves anymore. We are $4 billion you know, in, in, in debt. And it, it is, it's going to be killing for, for our people because there's no other way of coming out of debt if we don't 
think out of the box. So who will the 5,706 registered voters in Kaya Northeast Division vote for as their next air representative? We'll know that on November 11th. For now, Orlando Habet, John August and Nancy Marin believe they can do the job. People are coming out as supporters and what has been very different this time is that People are calling me to their homes and these are a lot of people who have not supported me in the past, who have been UDP supporters who are calling me and telling me, Mr. Habet, you know we have been UDPs all our lives, but this time we are going to vote for you, we are going to make a change. Our big support also will come from the young people. There's about 52% to 55% uh, voter registration between the ages of 18 to about 35 years. And we are appealing to, to the young people and I believe that a lot of our support will come from the young people. He was victorious five years ago, uh, but I do, I, I am very positive that the people have seen what type of leadership he offers. They have seen the type of le leadership I offered as a three-term mayor of the Twin Towns of San Ignacio and Santa Elena, and I think they expect much more from what has been offered to them over the last five years. And they know that John Agas is a man that once he's there, once he's um, in that capacity as a leader, as an elected leader, he works hard and he tries to deliver for the best for his community and his people. Um, I want people to really vote with a conscience. It's no time to be voting for political colors or for traditional political affiliations. It is time to vote for our country. Our country must come first in this election. And so I believe that it is a good time. Um, we have uh, a woman leader leading a third party and we have a third party with vision and with a good economic plan. It's time. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.